From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Dave DeForest reporting Syrian peace talks set for Friday. The United Nations on Tuesday sent out invitations for Syrian peace talks in Geneva. It is not immediately clear who has been invited or whether all of the groups opposed to the regime of President Bashar al-Assad will attend. Meanwhile, the conflict in Syria continued Tuesday with a double suicide bombing in the western city of Homs that state media said killed at least 22 people and wounded more than 100. Islamic State claimed responsibility for the attack. Russian President Vladimir Putin has called for the country to improve anti-corruption measures just hours after a BBC documentary reported his estimated personal fortune at close to $40 billion. The Kremlin dismissed as a total fabrication comments from a U.S. Treasury official who told the BBC that Mr. Putin was, in his words, a picture of corruption. The highest court in the Central African Republic has annulled last month's legislative elections. The court also confirmed that two former prime ministers will face a runoff vote for the presidency. The nation's constitutional court ruled late Monday that the first round legislative vote on December 30th was marred by numerous irregularities. A survey of economists by the financial news network CNBC finds the experts think the U.S. Central Bank is not likely to raise interest rates at this time and may delay expected rate hikes for a while. The rate setting committee of the U.S. Federal Reserve gathered in Washington for their regularly scheduled meeting on Tuesday. They will report their decision on Wednesday afternoon. For more, check our website, voanews.com. This is VOA News. Denmark's parliament passed a package of measures Tuesday to deter refugees from seeking asylum in the country. The so-called jewelry bill, passed by an overwhelming majority, includes delaying family reunifications for three years and confiscating migrants' valuables. Social Democrat Meta Jerskov has misgivings about the bill. And I'm really, really worried that this will mean that the uh, asylum seekers get an incentive to take, bring their children uh, uh, when they flee themselves. So this means that we will have more children in rubber boats in the Mediterranean. And that worries me a lot. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and other international organizations have condemned the bill as inconsistent with European Union policies. Lisa Schlein has more. UN Refugee Spokesman Adrian Edwards says the Danish decision sends damaging messages. In our view, it runs the risk of fueling sentiments of fear and discrimination rather than promoting solidarity with people in need of protection. The heavy influx of people into Europe last year created chaos. Humanitarian agencies predict a similar, if not larger, number of refugees and migrants is likely to arrive this year. Lisa Schlein, Geneva. The European Commission said Tuesday it is not ruling out allowing member states to reintroduce border controls for up to two years. To cope with the migration crisis, the European Union interior ministers Monday asked the Commission to consider the extension of border checks. The member states of the 26th country, Schengen Zone, would be required to inform the Commission about their security concerns. The Commission would then review the request before approving reintroduction of controls. The United States is clearing the path for more travel and commerce with Cuba. The Obama administration Tuesday announced a series of actions it says will promote ties between U.S. and Cuban citizens. Steps taken by the U.S. government include removing financing restrictions for authorized exports, 
Amending regulations to make it easier for some individuals and entities to get export licenses and easing regulations on travel. A U.S. teenager who explained his actions in a drunk driving case by claiming his family's wealth made him unable to understand the consequences of his actions will soon return to the United States. Ethan Couch had fled to Mexico with his mother after prosecutors began an investigation into a suspected parole violation. Lawyers for Couch told Mexican authorities Tuesday they want to drop their fight against his deportation. On Wall Street, U.S. stock indexes were up at the close of trade today. In Washington, I'm Dave DeForest. That's the latest world news from BOA.